So do you ever see those videos where someone is recommending their favorite filmmaking YouTube channels and their list consists of Matty Hapoya, Mark Bone, Danny Gewurz, Potato Jet, Lewis Potts. Every time I watch one of those videos, I'm just like, do they not realize that all of us are watching those channels as well? In fact, if you're a filmmaker and you're on YouTube, I'm willing to bet that you have more than likely heard of all of those people by now. So I thought that it would be a little more fun for me to recommend some YouTube channels that you might not have heard of yet. So for this video, I'm gonna be strictly focused on filmmaking and video related YouTube channels. I watch a lot of different YouTube channels with photographers and skateboarders and stuff. I might save those for a different video, but right now I'm just talking about filmmaking video people. So I have 10 for you and all of them are under 10,000 subscribers. So they're not super popular yet. And to be honest, it was kind of hard to narrow down my list to only 10 channels because I watch a lot of different channels, but these 10 channels, whenever they post a video, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna watch that video. So these are in no particular order, but I'm just gonna start off with one that I've actually talked about before. And he still doesn't have 10,000 subscribers, which I just think is crazy because his videos are so good, but it's Noah's Nostalgia. So what you can expect from Noah's Nostalgia's channel is a lot of really good storytelling, beautiful footage, and every Every now and again, he'll talk about cameras, but it's very rare. But I watch his videos a lot. They're very calming and he's very good at storytelling and just creating cinematic footage. And it seems like he gets these candid moments that are shot on like a cinema camera. And sometimes I'm just like, man, is he just bringing his cinema camera everywhere he goes and just getting these beautiful shots? I think watching his videos is a really good thing to do because it can give you a lot of inspiration on different shots to get, how to pace your videos and stuff like that. So the next on my list is one that is criminally underrated, and that is the Commodore Productions. If you wanna learn how to get better at editing, Commodore Productions has some of the craziest edits I've ever seen. And one of the things that I think would be really intriguing for a lot of people that watch my videos is that they use a Panasonic G85 for their videos. And like, it just shows how like sound design and editing skills can make even a very modest camera look insane. They recently released a video on the Panasonic 9mm F17 and it's just so freaking good. It looks like something that a much larger channel would have created and it's just that's one criminally underrated. Commodore Productions is very very good. So this next channel is a channel that is again one of those peaceful ones to watch but also really inspiring and that is Oliver Keys. And Oliver makes really peaceful gear review videos. He shoots a lot on I think the GX85, the original Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera and and the Lumix S5. And some of it is about photography, but he talks a lot about video as well and how he color grades his stuff. And yeah, he just got a really like calm demeanor about him. And I just really like that. Uh, those are the type of videos that I kind of gravitate towards. So yeah, Oliver Keys, another great one to watch, uh, especially if you're into like GX85 and the BMPCC original, it's like those small little cameras. So this next channel is one where the person talks about camera gear that I don't own and it's Blaze Pivot. Var, I believe. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that name wrong. <laughs> Blaze has some of the crispiest looking YouTube videos out there. He shoots on Fujifilm cameras and he talks a lot about his professional work using Fuji cameras. All of his talking headshots just look so aesthetically pleasing. And he, again, has a very calm demeanor and it's very peaceful watching his YouTube videos, but also very informative. So yeah, Blaze Povovar, Pivovar. I think that's how you pronounce it. So this next YouTube channel is one that I stumbled upon fairly recently and that's Daniel Cunningham. And Daniel shoots with Blackmagic cameras a lot and he's a really good cinematographer. He talks a lot about the cinematography process and yeah, that's definitely one to watch. He puts a lot of effort into his videos and I feel like he just deserves a lot more views than he gets. So the next channel is a creator named Luke Holiday, and I've been watching Luke for a while and there's a lot of really good practical filmmaking advice there as well as behind the scenes footage and cinematography breakdowns that I really like. So. Luke Holiday is another really good one to keep your eye on. So the next channel is a creator named Alex Lorum, I believe. And Alex is a like a traditional cinematographer who kind of, you know, takes you behind the scenes on like productions with bigger crews, which I always think is really interesting because I'm a solo creator and I have very small crews when I do have crews at all. So it's interesting seeing what it actually looks like being on a bigger crew. He does some gear breakdowns, talks about, you know, the gear that he uses, but there's a lot of really good behind the scenes where he's, you know, working on larger sets. So 
that's one that I really enjoy as well. So next up, Josh Harum is a really good YouTube channel to follow. He shot on airy cameras before and he works on like real proper short films. So he breaks down a lot of the cinematography for the short films that he shot, which I think is really interesting to watch and it's insightful as well. So, so yeah, Josh Harum is another really good filmmaker YouTube channel to watch. This next channel you might argue is a little bit more on the photography side of things, but I found it through the filmmaking videos that they've put out. And it's a channel called Cholette or Cholette. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it, but there is just a lot of really good behind the scenes on small crew music videos, which I think is really interesting. There's some gear talk, there's some FX3, Pocket 3 gear talk on that channel as well. A lot of very unique lighting setups with like spotlights and stuff like that, which I really find interesting. I think that channel has been around almost as long as my channel has, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, they're just now starting to like post a lot more videos. So again, whenever that channel drops a video, I watch it. And the last channel that I'm gonna recommend is a creator named Joe Bressler. And Joe is an NYC filmmaker. He shoots a lot of the stuff that I wish I could shoot. Uh, a lot of skateboarding related content, which I just think is so sick. And he does a lot of high-end work. And it's cool because he kind of brings you behind the scenes on how he shot it and the gear that he used, which again, that's just the kind of stuff that I love watching because I love seeing how people do what I want to do, you know? So yeah, Joe Bressler, another channel that like, if he releases something, I'm watching it. Uh, anyways, those are my picks on 10 YouTube channels under 10,000 subscribers that I think just deserve more attention. And if, any of those channels get at least one more subscriber because of this video, I'll be stoked and hopefully they will too. So if there's any other really under the radar, haven't been discovered yet, <laughs> filmmaking YouTube channels uh, under 10K, definitely leave them in the comment section below, give them a little shout out and uh, yeah, go follow and subscribe those people that I talked about if you haven't already, uh, I think you'll enjoy their videos. Anyways, it's another just a little quick video for the second channel. Talk to y'all later, bye.